to my channel. My name is Glamour Ellen. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a rustic glam tablescape. And this one, i probably gonna do two. So the item I'm gonna show you, it will be in this tablescape. So first, item first is I'm gonna use this uh, rattan or woven that I thrifted at Miscellaneous Farm for $12. $12. So this one, it reminds me of Great and Barrel, but this one is much uh, nicer look. All right, next is this owl right here that I thrifted from Goodwill. Uh, it was for 33. And next is this one right here. Uh, this one, it reminds me of Great and Barrel. Uh, this one is from Walmart, so if you're interested to have this, uh, maybe check your Walmart. Uh, this is Steve's gift to me on my birthday and also have a runner. Next is this goblet right here. I really love the detail of this. It was wood and the top is glam. And this one is $2.66 at Goodwill. Hey guys, I forgot one more item and this 14 right here. I found one more. And uh, this one is from Hugo's, but I will leave the link in my description box because you guys asked me this before. So if you're interested, you have that on their website. And uh, it was 96 inches and the other one is 120. So you already see the other one there. I take off the one in my uh, guest room and I'm gonna put this over here. So the downstair is all uh, this thing. All right, I think that's about it. So, all right, let's get started. Waste of words, waste of breath Cause I've got none to say Thoughts they burn inside my chest Can take it one more day No matter how much pain I'm in No matter how Gotta think, I gotta breathe yeah. Changes to come the lights just around the corner life must go on what won't kill me will make me stronger when i'm falling down on my knees i will rise and try to believe that changes will come cause the lights just around the corner all right everyone so let's start from my throw blanket my throw blanket, I bought this one from Bead Bat and Beyond last year. And this throw pillow right here, I thrifted from Goodwill. And I already sanitized this one and I put it in the dryer. I don't really use this one, it's only for decoration. And again, so right over here, this napkin from Home Goods last year. And as you can see guys, I used this before. This one came from Hobby Lobby. My napkin ring and look at that 
detail of this silverware holder uh, it was a faux leather and right over here my uh, placemat from home goods and you seen this before that I thrifted from Goodwill and on top of that I have the Dollar Tree dinnerware and I do have this uh, salad plate from Hobby Lobby for uh, I believe two, two years now I never used that and this is the owl right there my runner came from home goods and also this uh, circle candle holder also from home goods and look at the detail of this goblets it's very very pretty and I love it uh, it looks amber this one right here it looks like amber it's very uh, nice in this tablescape and right over here again this is my woven vase and I really love the detail of this one it, I think it's better from creating barrel and I mix all my full lips this one right here is also thrifted I'm gonna reuse this again but I'm gonna cut it and this one right here I believe came from Juan's two years ago and this one right here from Target and I combined my great barrel but I'm gonna reuse that again in the different setting and I think that's it guys so this is my rustic glam traditional for here in table number two I reused my runner top of that I also use my eucalyptus garland you've seen this before in my past tablescape also I use another garland from Ross and it was a pumpkin so I put them all together to have those full look and this one I use a real pumpkin because I would like all the air tones and natural it looks like a harvest uh, tablescape when I see this pumpkin at the grocery store, I really love the texture, also the shape and color. That's why I decided to use this in the tablescape. Here, I thrifted this acorn from Goodwill and along with that owl. Here, I'm trying to rearrange the pumpkin. I never styled a real pumpkin before and it's a little bit hard because it was very stubborn. So I'm trying to be very patient how I'm going to style this pumpkin. Here, my charger came from Pure One a few years ago. I bought this dinnerware from Gabe's three years ago and it was a very nice for fall and it's actually uh, fall leaves and trees the rustic plates it matches with my centerpiece Head of the table plate from Goodwill and the salad plate from at home. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Welcome to my nighttime view, and later I will show you the daytime view. Enjoy. As you can see guys, I use the twinkle lights because for me, it's very fun to look at this dancing light in my harvest pumpkin.
everyone tip for you if you have a lot of pine cones in your backyard and a lot of greenery or even a maple leaves you can cut them and create a centerpiece in your tablescape i'm going to do that in my another video for fall i probably gonna go to my backyard and pick some pine cones there and also some maple leaves and i might do that on my thanksgiving tablescape The rustic plate came with four salad bowl, but I cannot find two of them. That is why I decided to use in my four seaters the scallop bowl. To all glam lovers, stay tuned on my another video. I'm still working on my glam tablescape so i might have to do three of them so stay tuned for that and here's my daytime view and please let me know which one do you like the nighttime view or the daytime view guys so let's start from my napkin ring napkin ring i believe this one came from pier one my napkin is also from pier one and the salad bowl right here you seen this before i tripped it and i really dab the detail it was scallop and uh, you can see guys this plate right here uh, it was fall and i believe that's the name in the I bought this one from Gabe's uh, store last three years ago for I believe $14.99. So and if you're interested to purchase this one, uh, it will be in Walmart. They also have black and uh, together with the napkin ring but they have a different uh, price from the napkin ring. So this is very very pretty and I will show you later the runner with that. Over here I use Dollar Tree goblets and all my centerpiece I reuse them all together 
aside from this real pumpkin right here and this one that I thrifted from Goodwill so but most of this I already had this last uh, three years ago and I use my acleric lantern Again, I hope this video will give you an ideas and inspiration. This tablescape, it can be a Thanksgiving tablescape because I use a lot of a real pumpkin here and it's like a harvest time. The only thing I don't have is Storky. I have not found the one I like it and hopefully I can find it soon. Everyone, if you like this video today, I hope guys you consider subscribing to my channel and please hit the bell twice so every time I upload new videos, you will be notified. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye. Be safe.